It's like I'm staring to It's a no-go on touching the hobo. Excuse me. Halt! Citizen! Please remain at least three feet away from me while you give me your spare change. Otherwise, I am legally obligated to inform you I will bite. P.S. Got a spare change. I'm really just looking... How about five bucks? I'll contort to any shape you want for the minimum... Sorry, I stopped carrying cash after I was mugged for 12 years straight by the bullies at my school. You're kind of a bummer, aren't you, kid? Can you just let me buy... Come on, kid. Help me out here. How about... I wish, but... No. Then allow me to contort my hand thusly. You're flipping me off, but... All right, fine. Sorry, it's just been hard living out here with nowhere to call my own. Eh, I'm used to it. I get flipped off a lot by this bully, Kent. And teachers. And babies. Yeesh. So you'll let me buy? Absolutely. Oh, good. After a small donation. Damn it! Do you do yoga or something? Yoga? Ha! I think not. I'm a contortion artist and the greatest that ever lived. I'm known from all over the world for my feats of flexibility and the amazing ways in which I stand, uh, strangely. How come I've never heard of you? Because you and the rest of the world are ignorant of the beauty in a man licking the sweat off his own back. I guess I still am, because that sounds gross. Oh, I suppose the ability to dislocate my shoulders and rest my scrotum on my forehead is also gross. Yes. Don't you have somewhere else you can go? I did, once. I had a beautiful home, a spacious two-bedroom with a foyer to practice my contortion arts. What happened? Did the bank foreclose on you? Something like that. It was a microwave box, and the garbage man nabbed it from the alley while I was showering in the gas station bathroom. You lived in a microwave box? I know, I know, it's a little excessive, but sometimes you just need a place with a lot of space so you could really stretch out in. Now it's gone. It's just me and the streets trying to survive the elements. I tried to use my bottom half as a shelter for my top half, but it's just not the same. <sighs> wow, I'm sorry you don't have a home, mister. Maybe there's something I can do to help. You could. Um, let me live in your home. Uh, no. Something that isn't that. Well, I suppose, uh, some spare change would help. Got any spare change? I was thinking of something more inventory-based. How about that backpack? Looks roomy. I'm not gonna carry you around. You may not be as helpful as you think you are, kid. Are you sure contorting is an art form? Boy, art is being able to stuff yourself into smaller and smaller boxes until your lungs can no longer expand. Oh, Philistines like you will never understand true art. You're right. I don't get it. Huh. Just like the uncultured swines in charge of the county fairgrounds. Don't scare the children, Mo. Nobody's interested in the flexibility of your sphincter, Mo. Stop taking naps in the cotton candy machine, Mo. Ingrates. They fired me, folded me into a ball, and rolled me downhill to whatever crap town this is. Netherton. Tough break. Which is exactly why I need a minimum donation of spare change. You got a spare change? Still no. Take it easy, Stretch. Come back when you actually have something to offer. Going to Rod's Pizza for a fucking pizza. Wow, it's a... Whoops, I scrapped. There's no truck nuts. He gets to wear a chicken cock. Groping him seems like a... So, what's it like? Eh, beats being in high school. I legitimately can't argue with that. So, how's the chicken here, anyway? Couldn't say. We don't serve chicken here. We only serve chicken. Uh, what's the difference? To legally call your food chicken, it needs to actually contain chicken in it. We can't make that claim. So, legally, the workaround is to call it chicken instead. Okay, so what's in it then? Herbs, spices, and a shitload of factory chemicals to create a chicken-like substitute. 
So it's like a vegetarian alternative faux chicken? No, there's definitely lots of animal parts mixed in with those chemicals. We just don't know what animals. All we know is that none of them are chickens. I feel like I'm going down a very disturbing rabbit hole here. Actually, rabbit could be one of those animals in our chick and product. It's a mystery turducken chemical in food product. This sounds delicious. Do you guys sell any other types of food? Funny you mention it, because we've just unveiled our new Mother Cluckin slurry surprise. What's that? It's a byproduct of our chick and chemical process, and then we serve it piping hot in a cup with an extra thick straw. An extra thick straw? That's an odd thing to mention. Well, it's still quite chunky. We're not sure why, but even though we heat it to 900 degrees for several days, some of the stuff in the slurry just doesn't break down. Rather than scoop it out, we just give it to our customers with an extra thick straw so they can suck up those chunky bits. You know, I think I'm gonna have to pass on the slurry surprise. Yeah, most people do. How long did it take you to get that good at sign twirling? About 10 years. Wow, I had no idea you sign spinners put so many hours into it. Yeah, it's a unique skill, a lost art if you will. We twirlers have been honing our craft for ages, so businesses had best cough up some real cash if they want our expert haze. Oh yeah? What kind of cash? Minimum wage. Dare to dream. Do you guys sell any other type? Fun what's- It's a- An extra- Well- You know? Yeah. So, what's a fella gotta do to score a costume like that? Normally, you'd need to become a full-time employee here, but if you'd be willing to help me out, I can score one for you. I guess that depends on the favor. Well, I just got a delivery order, and that's great. But research has shown that every time I step away to make a delivery, instead of standing here doing my sign twirling routine, we lose customers. Makes sense. So I need you to deliver this mother clucking chicken order and have the customer sign the credit card receipt. That's it? Yep. Just bring that sign receipt back to me, and I'll get you a mother clucking costume. Do we have a deal? Sure, I can swing that. Great, here's the chicken and the credit card receipt. Just take it to the pink house located on Knothole Street. Knock on the door, make sure they sign that receipt. Okay, got it. Good luck, Mother Clucker. I think I just signed up for some shit I shouldn't have signed up for. Yep, right, big sausage piece of pork. If I wear this, does it officially mean- Rod makes the best- There's probably cameras here. I probably shouldn't touch him. One slice of free pizza, please. Nice try, kid. But nobody gets a shot at Rod's thickness without tossing his salad in the back first. You have salads here? Mmm, no. What's your stance on pineapples? Rod is always in favor of making it easier to swallow. Nice. I like pineapple on pizza, too. Pineapple on pizza? Sick. What's on the Rod's Thick Sausage Surprise? Sorry, kid. That pie is for customers 18 or older. Preferably the sexy ones. I'm not putting penis on any of these pizzas, sorry. You're not putting your penis on any of these pizzas, are you? Come on, kid. This is a legitimate Italian eatery. Okay, but I didn't hear you say no. It depends on what you order. As luck would have it, I actually have a coupon for a free pizza. A free pizza? You sure that coupon isn't expired? There's no expiration on it. Damn. Wish I could say the same about my condoms. Your what? Uh, my condiments. So, can I get that free cheese pizza? All right, why the hell not? Just don't go telling your friends I'm giving away free pizzas. Unless, of course, they're barely legal females, then you can send them my way. Deal? Uh, deal.
fucking that pizza. Right on. Here you go, kid. Enjoy my thick pizza. Wish you wouldn't say it like that, but thanks. Why is there a hole in the middle of it, Rod? A lovely cheese pizza, just for me. I guess today wasn't all bad. Time to head back home and scarf it down. It's a valley. Nah. Are you like? This is like ruin this bitch's fucking shit. <laughs> La dicks. He's a dick. Hi there. Welcome. I'd like to make an order. Oh, apologies, sir. Uh, but we. I'm starving. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. But we're a restaurant. We can't make you a hero here, sir. Only you can do such a thing. Oh, and by the looks of you, that's quite unlikely. Your order of dicks. Is that a bagel on a plate? Serving me is discrimination or racist or something, I bet. Apologies, sir, but we serve based on our customers' deepest desires. And I'm afraid we can't grow you a giant beard. I guess the guy who ordered or wanted the dicks. Is there anything your kitchen can serve? Little, sir, our kitchen. Damn it! I'm starving. Oh. I'm starving. Oh. Is there anything? Little, sir, our kitchen is ill equipped to prepare you. Damn it! Excuse me. Tiny monsieur, if you're applying to be busboy around here, I'm afraid we're not currently hiring children who can't even lift a baguette. I could totally lift a bag. Would you care to put a wager on? I, uh, I'm above your silly trials. Besides, I lifted three dinner rolls just the other day. Grandma took my picture. Most impressive, sir. Off I go. It's a guy on a... So, you wouldn't be trying... No, I just wanted to... If you would be so kind as to... So, if you would be so... That's a woman who knows what... Please, sir, uh, keep your... Sir... A meal prepared by Chef Aborsh... If I do, it's mother my... Now it'd be a... She looks nice. I wonder if she... And what? Give her... So, allow me... He sure looks like a he... He wouldn't fit in my... So... <laughs> he thinks he looks good, but I think he looks like a... I'm starting to get a reputation... Hi, I'm Coop. Damn, you are one fine-looking specimen, if I do say. Oh, wow. That He's talking to himself, Coop, not you. So sexy. So what do you do for a living? Are no, but I should carry around a mop since the ladies melt under the floor whenever I'm around. <laughs> this guy. Um, okay. What don't I do? Actually, it's more like who do I do? Ugh. How's the food here, eh? All I know is everything is delicious because I'm what's on the menu tonight. Wait, I don't understand. Are you talking about yourself? Looking good guy doesn't swing that way, but you can buy him a drink. Of course, you'll have to get him. You might be the second most nar- The waiter told me the same thing. Guess that's- Don't you ever crave? Oh my! Jeez, I, I'm so. <clears throat> Not as. You're hopeless. Don't you ever crave something more than looks and sh? Oh my God! Yes, I'm so lonely. I'm so goddamn lonely. <laughs> Did you know I dry humped myself the other day? Jeez, I, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You're hopeless. 
Okay. They hate to see me go. She does not look Save the touching Hey, aren't you the high school janitor? Ugh, ex-wife Please, kid, can't you see I'm on a date? Go I give think you give the the a second chance. Are you kidding me? When we met, he promised to sweep me off of my feet. At first, I thought I could overlook his love of the custodial arts. But when he would only make love on garbage day in a trash bin with a mop on my head, I could only take so much. He can only focus on one thing at a time. And I told him it was either trash or me. Well, now he's not doing either. Don't you think you could have a clean and exciting life together? Exciting life? Ha! His bucket list was just the list of buckets he wants to own before he dies. That's, uh, still pretty exciting, I think. So, what are you gonna so, order? what are you gonna order? At this point, anything. I'm starving. If only my vapid date would make up his mind. You can tell a lot about a person by what they order here. That's a good idea. You can find what their desire is pretty easily that way. Exactly. Honestly, I'd be surprised if his deepest desire isn't just a copy of himself that he can date. Besides, if all of his desires are below the belt, it'll show up as his dinner, and I'll definitely know he's a creep. Wow, I'm flattered. Moved, actually. But kid, our love could never be. You're so underage and illegal. No, don't look at me like that with your lonely, beautiful, trash bin eyes. I am only so strong. Besides, what would Libman, your janitor, aka my ex-husband, do if he ever saw us together? No, it could never be. Maybe in another life. Or semester. A simple no would suffice. I'm sorry, didn't mean- Scram, kid! I have re- What was that? Why did you talk to her? I didn't hear that. What I forgot that? to ask- I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you while you're trying to get laid. Scram, kid. I have real emotional needs. I'm not just looking for a plate of dicks! That's what he got. A plate of dicks. Okay. So I talked to her. So much chores. Hey, ruin the date. Nah, it's one of the Say door. Employees on Hey there. I have Okay. They hate to see me go. It's a ticket wheel. It can spin, but I'm not gonna sp order up. I'm back for more. I'm starving. <laughs> oh, I'm Off I go. How do I ruin this date? That's the real question. How do I ruin this date? I I'd love to ruin this date. Witness the message. <laughs> These fake plants. Hey, this one day you'll be. Trying to enjoy my. Hey, I'm Coop. Just leave me alone. Sir. What am I gonna do? How do 
barulho desse. Don't worry, baby. I'll... That was a bright idea. It's an order ticket. Nothing ruins a date faster than receiving the wrong order, especially when it's an order of penises. Order up! And here you are, sir. Your plate of dicks. Bon appetit! Whoa! Looking good. Mmm. What? That... that gross plate of... of dicks? Delicious. Uh, when I started dating a man who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror, I had no idea he'd be so full of himself. And now this is what you order? I knew men only had one thing on their mind. I just assumed it was their own. I hope you and your plate of dicks are happy. God, I made a mistake. Dating sucks. I might as well go back to what's comfortable instead of trying to find what makes me happy. I'm going back to my ex-husband. Let's help, bitch. Bye. <laughs> That was your order, by the way. Feels rare to me. Steak and cake. You are a v Uh, playing with that food might make me go blind. A plate of penises? That d- <laughs> He thinks he looks good. I'm starting to get a reputation around- Still looking. Got so long, buddy. Let's go back and talk to the fucking Jenner. Cause I live in that shit. It was pink house, right? What are you doing here, man? Is he? Is he? I don't imagine. I uh ruined your wife's fancy date. You. You did? For me? <laughs> oh, but why? So you'd clean up the school. That place is so trashed I got my neck stuck in a plastic soda ring and almost died like one of those sea turtles. You're right, kid. I don't deserve people like you in my life. Does this mean we're friends? Now, hold on. <laughs> Let's take it slow. Uh, this divorce is rough and I'm in no place to make commitments yet. But I uh, appreciate everything you've done. Thanks for the dirty hug. Made all this effort totally worth it. Great. Now I'm. <laughs> That's your fucking order. Hey there, are you the one who ordered- You made your ass I am! What took you so- Sorry, I'm new to this mother clucking delivery stuff. Anyway- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down there! I don't just provide my signature to any stranger off the- But, I'm just a kid! And that's how them identity thieves get ya! They lure you in with a false- Hey, that's re- Point is, we're gonna- Which came first? I mean, something had to lay that egg. 
but it might not necessarily have been a chicken. Uh, uh the egg, right? Ha! He thinks the egg came first. You gotta be shitting me. Hmm. Um, maybe God brought it in. Ah, the classic God debate. I think God created God, because only a God could do such a thing, right? Your argument is falling apart, kid. Even if there was a God, at some point in time, there had to be nothing. No planets, no space, no gods, nothing. Absolutely nothing. With that in mind, how did any of that stuff come to be? And furthermore, how did it all lead to the chicken or the egg? Look, I don't pretend to comprehend all the ins and outs of the universe. For Christ's sakes, I'm just a kid trying to survive high school. Maybe some crazy sciencey stuff happened, like a Big Bang or a black hole imploded on itself, or some super god magically came into existence and started creating all this stuff. Listen to yourself. Big Bangs? Black holes? Are you kidding me? You're tying your logic into a Gordian knot, kid. It's a simple question, so just give me a simple answer. How did the entire universe come into existence? Who knows? Maybe it hatched out of some kind of ultra mega egg. Holy shit! Eureka! I think you figured it all out! This is it! This is the answer to our existence! You've done it, kid! You cracked the code! You've cracked the egg! You've unlocked the mysteries of the universe! Uh, I did? Yes! This is huge! I'm gonna write a book all about it! Hope you don't mind if I take all the credit. Maybe I'll mention you in the special thanks section. What was your name again? Oh, it's Coop. Actually, never mind. Can't talk forever about nonsense with a delivery boy. Who the hell has time for that? Here, take the signed credit card receipt and get out of here. I've got some mother clucking chicken to eat and a mother clucking book to write. I just had my idea stolen. I was robbed in broad daylight by a chicken addict. in two places, man. You know, Bloom... I'm back for more... Are you... Uh... Yeah. So you want my... No cutting! Okay, okay! Hmm. Godspeed! Take it easy. chilling outside my house. Oh, 
Okay, I- That's mother clucking great. Okay, a deal's a deal. Here's your new- I'm not sure that's possible. Delivering food to that weirdo- All right, now you have chicken costume. Now let's go get my ass beat and then end the episode. This tree is- I've climbed up the- I'm not the- Squeak, we saved you some. Extra, extra, read all about it. Today's top story, you fuckers are douchebags. Hey, these claims are unsubstantiated. Don't you have anything better to do than push around Coop? Oh, bite it, Sawyer. Just get out of the way so I can kick the shit out of this shrimp. Kick the shit out of him, huh? You mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg, Chet? Uh, you did what? Babe, babe, no, I was sick You're and... fucking gross! Oh my god, I have to go shower! It was Ew. just a little nugget! Oh, don't oh touch babe, me. don't be like that! Well, that was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone... Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you? Shut the fuck up, smegma breath! Now that we're alone... I've been meaning to ask, do you have a date for prom? I'd like a girl who has dirt on everyone. That chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. I can see the headline already. Kent not awarded prom king, cries for 72 hours straight, and dies a dehydrated husk. That's what you think. The school isn't letting anyone go stag. Damn it! No stag attendees? What is this, some kind of breeding camp? Face it, Sawyer. The only way into the dance is to give in to your desires. Take my hand and say yes. Will you be my prom queen? Actually, I'm going with Coop. Coop? You fucking serious? Uh, me? Really? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to entice the big dog. Well, woof woof. It's smart. You gotta play games to win a five-time king like me. Uh... Meow. Looks like this cat has claws. Let the games begin. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to prom. Cause if you go with Coop, I'd have to kill him. <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh yeah. Shit. How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um... Call it a hunch. I didn't even know you liked me. Aw, oh, of course I like you, little buddy. You're my favorite neighbor. And anyway, did you see how pissed off Kent was? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna murder me. <laughs> Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up for yourself, Coop. They won't pick on you if you fight back. You think? Because last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be impolite, and he responded by swatting my house. Oh, I heard about that. Sorry about your dog. I miss Scooter. Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm gone all day on a field trip. Stay strong, brother. Fight the power. Later, Coop. Cool, yeah. Damn the man, and so on. I am so screwed. Today, 
I've had such a wonderful day. I got some groceries, finished my Kegel exercises, and guess what? Your grandma has a date this week. <sighs> That's great, Grandma. My, my, my. You sure are devoid of life today. Tough day at school again? <sighs> yeah. Was it those bullies? Your old grandma can roll up her sleeves and knock some heads together. Please don't. Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now they just say, better call your grandma to come save you, pussy, while they punch me even harder. What? Are you ashamed of your old grandma? No, Graham, it's just... <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase, adding insult to injury? Oh, sure, I've heard lots of phrases. Like, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it always has two sides. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Your grandma is full of them. <sighs> Boy, I'll say. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. You know, you'll always be my little Cooper hero. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like happy people, so why don't you help me out? When you're ready, I have a couple of things that only a superhero like yourself could do. Sure, Grandma. I'll talk to you soon. So, let's talk about the relatability of what just happened. Free time at last. Now I can look, touch, and talk to all my cool stuff. Well, until I'm ready to go help out Grandma so. with whatever she needs, that is. His friend used him as a shield. Alright, to get out of agreeing to go to prom with somebody she hates, right? That's very relatable to me. Because right? I had a friend who wanted to break with her boyfriend. Alright, and I gave permission to use me as the person she was breaking up with him to be with, right? The difference is, Coop did not give this bitch permission to endanger his life <laughs> like she just did. And then she had the nerve to hit him with the whole. You're on your own tomorrow, bud. Fight back. Da -da 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 -da. No, to a certain degree, I agree with everything she said, you know? The only reason it's this bad. Cause this nigga won't stab somebody. Alright. And very came to the point where people realized that, yeah, you know, you'll beat his ass. Yeah, you might get cut, stabbed. You might, you know, bleed to do it. A lot of people wouldn't even try. Especially a pretty boy. Like the homecoming king. Why the fuck do you even want to risk getting his face sliced up? Or his or gnarly scar on his stomach. Which would immediately drop a lot of his prospects in value, you know? See, so yeah, to a certain degree, she's absolutely right. He needs to fight back. But on the other side, it is way too fucking late. He should have tried, he should have fought back in ninth or 10th grade. Alright, now that it's reached this point, even if he did truly, and I mean truly, take a knife or a box cutter to someone, or truly did swing, there's a high possibility that he'd either get arrested, locked up, or killed. Yeah, this whole situation is just fucked. But he has to deal with the consequences. Solo dolo. Because she's like, oh, I'm on a field trip. I'm gonna be out of town. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here, Sleep Block. If y'all enjoyed this episode, now leave a like and comment. Subscribe to join Slick Blood and Deuces SPM. PWG is out. Peace.